Hey everybody, why are we checking into our hotel at 6.15 in the morning? Stay tuned, I'll tell you why, because you'll want to do it too. Oh guys, I'm so sorry I have to interrupt this video because I made a huge error. When I was checking this video to the hotel, it was so early in the morning and I was kind of like, dis I was like, ah, my brain was all over the place. I forgot to mention the name of the hotel. The hotel is the Portofino down at Universal Studios Orlando. The Portofino, it's one of my very favorite hotels and we were staying there because we wanted to stay it was kind of expensive, I'll be honest with you. But we splurged and did it for one night because we want to sp stay a special night in the Minion Suite because our son Miles loves the Minions. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. The rest of this video, I'm going to show you a whole tour of the video of the, of the hotel, the Portofino. And at the end of the video, you're going to see this amazing room. And I'm going to tell you about this amazing hack you can do to get the most, squeeze your dollars and get the most out of your Universal Studios experience. All right, now back to the video of the Portofino. This is outside the harbor area. You see right there, that is the little harbor, the little boat that takes you to Universal Studios Orlando. And this year, if they have all this amazing music. It's like this DJ, they play fun music. And of course, it's all, most of it's Italian inspired because we're in the Portofino and it's a lot of fun. People are out here just relaxing. They're drinking wine, having bread, just enjoying the, the evening. And again, that's the, that's the water taxi that you, that you get on right there to go to uh, Universal Studios Orlando. And it's just, it's got a really good vibe to it. You just come here, you just kind of relax in the evening. They do, have, sometimes they'll have movies playing out here and relaxing, so you can just enjoy your evening out here. It's, it's awesome. They're currently doing a massive refurbishment on the exterior of the building to make it updated, make it pop a little bit more. You can see the kind of work going on right over there. They do have some like um, tarps over the banners over here as they're working on it. The hotel is still fully open and operational. Just It's the exterior. It's like, hey, we want that to look amazing as this hotel is. So they're working on it. Should be done in just a couple months. It's like a set on a movie, but nope. It's just part of the hotel. Look at this. We walk right down there to the waterfront. And this is the beach pool. They got sand here. They have water slides. This is where they do nighttime movies. It's almost like out of a movie. This pool is amazing. So this is where the water slide enters in. I'll kind of, and then this is like a like a cave area where they could swim along through there. There's a hot tub down there. It has a has a waterfall that goes into it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning pool. Sand for them to play in. Children can play in the sand. And the thing that's nice about it is it's a wading pool. So it starts off really like what an inch or two deep. And you wade out like you do in the ocean. It gets deeper and deeper and deeper. There's also an outdoor bar area where they, you can order drinks or have drinks brought to you. They have servers. They have a DJ who's playing music. They have uh, uh, towels and complimentary water for you. And then, of course, they've got the movies to just start playing right there. They have movies that will be playing there for kids to watch in the evening. They also have this amazing little splash pool just for kids to play in. See? Well, the water's going in, splash, they get splashed in there, and then they have a little play set area for them as well. You can have a whole day here and just relax, enjoy. Okay, so let me show you the amazing lobby of this awesome hotel. The lobby is amazing, almost jaw dropping. When you first come in, it's almost, it smells so good. It's almost like a vanilla smell with a hint of maybe cedar, I guess, wood. I don't know, it's so good. So this is like the little lobby area that you just kind of sit, relax. You notice they have a bunch of chess tables here. How cool, isn't that awesome? Nice little chess table, chess table, chess table. Then as you come back in, that's where you check in. Walking right through here, this takes you to another little area, but it looks like you're outside, but you're inside. You have a little fountain there. You turn down here and look what you have, all these shops. You're gonna walk past the concierge. It's just like you're, I mean, look up. How cool is that? So you got a bunch of shops in here. It's got this, just this cool vibe into it. It's like, ah, oh, this is awesome. Well, hello there. Check us out. It's heavily inspired by Italy, right? So everything here feels like you're at something like to do with Italy. Look at this. Crazy. Is that a gazebo? Yeah, so of course. Why not? You need a gazebo. <laughs> oh man. How cool is this? 
as you enter in, it's a little bit dark because we're here in the evening. As you enter in, though, you're going to see it says the Provincia di Portofino. That's my Italian kind of accent. But there's amazing, you have this amazing like a uh, fountain and then you have some Vespas out here. Just check them out. They're just like parked out here. They're just like nice little photo ops. You can sit on them, get a cool little photo op. What an amazing exterior of a hotel. So now I'm going to tell you why I we checked into hotel super early in the morning here at Universal Studios. Universal Studios has some amazing perks and, to, and there's different perks for different hotels. So whatever's important to your family on your vacation, you'll want to stay at different hotels. For example, if Volcano Bay is the most important thing to you, then you're going to want to stay at the Cabana Bay because Cabana Bay has its own private entrance into Volcano Bay and they let you go in early if you're staying at Cabana Bay. So that's a cool perk for staying at Cabana Bay. But let's say you really want to jam as many rides as you can. You don't want to wait in lines and you want to just get the most that you can. Then what you want to do is you want to stay at one of three hotels. These are the premier hotels. There's the Portofino that we're staying at here. There is the, uh, what is it? The um, Hard Rock Cafe, you can see the Hard Rock Cafe. And then there's the Lowe's, Lowe's Royal Pacific. If you stay at any of those three hotels and they are a premium hotel, included they're going to give you an unlimited express pass for every single person in your party that's staying in that room and it's for as long as you're staying at the stay at the hotel this is massive and let me explain to you what it really means to really understand this perk and how amazing it is how much money it's going to save you i have to explain the perks right Universal Studios, they don't have like Genie Plus. There is no Genie Plus, there's no app, there's nothing like that. They do have an app, but it's not like the Genie Plus. They have what's called an Express Pass. It lets you skip the line of any attraction, any attraction but Hagrid's. Keep in mind, but Hagrid's. But almost every other attraction, you skip right to the front of the, uh, the line. And there's three different types of Express Passes. There's the normal Express Pass, which lets you skip the line of any attraction, except for Hagrid's, one time. So you can skip like front of line for Velocir Coaster, and skip the front of line of like uh, Ripsaw Falls, and then uh, skip the front of the line of the Dr. Seuss land or whatever. But you can only do each attraction one time. If you want to ride it more than that one time, then you have to wait in the normal queue. Does that make sense? The second type of express pass they have is after 4 p.m. After 4 p.m., if you're in the park on that day, you can buy an express pass, and they have a limited amount of them that are for sale that day. And after 4, you can skip the front of the line. Um, for on that particular day so it's called after four express pass and those they have those on sale day of you just go to the park and then if they have them available you can buy them that day the most expensive one is called the unlimited express pass this lets you skip the front line of every single attraction except hagrid's and you could do it as many times as you want so let's say you just want to jam Velocir coaster over and over and over not a problem with the unlimited you skip the front line then write it again, skip the front line, write again, skip the front line, and write again. This is the most expensive express pass. On During like peak times, it's about $250 or $300 for the unlimited express pass. It's really pricey. But here's the thing, okay? Now, I don't want you to make this mistake. A little while ago, uh, about a year ago actually, I came and did a boys trip with my friends. We came down here to Universal Studios and my one friend, he didn't want to go to Universal Studios. He's a diehard Disney fan. He's like, I don't want to go to Universal Studios. So we came down here, we planned it, we all, and we wanted to save money. So we stayed at the cheapest hotels that we could, on property hotels, because Universal Studios, any hotel you stay at, it's gonna let you into the park early, an hour early, which is an awesome little perk, right? So we're staying at the, the, most, the least expensive hotel that we could just try to save money. And then what we ended up doing is we ended up buying express passes. Uh, just a one-time express pass. Well, my one friend who didn't want to come to Universal Studios, at the last minute, he got FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. So he ended up, he's like, ah, oh, I want to do this. But Universal Studios only sells so many express passes, and once they reach the limit, they won't sell any more because they want everybody to get their value for the, how much money they've spent for it. So the only way he could get express pass is he had to stay at the most expensive hotel, right? A premier hotel. But he booked it, he stayed at the premier hotel, and then he came with his express pass. His was unlimited, ours was limited. Here's the thing though, we spent more money than he did. Our hotel room and then adding, buying the, the, the limited express pass was more expensive than a one night stay at that premier hotel where he got it included for free, which is amazing. Okay, so now that I explained that, here's a hack for Universal Studios. It's called hotel hopping. 
and it's amazing and I never even knew about it until I was introduced to it and it's awesome. Some people just think it maybe it's kind of weird, but it's not. It is awesome and you can get all the benefits of perks to the hotels. So for example, if your family wants to do uh, Volcano Bay, you stay at Cabana Bay. Then the next day you check into like a premier hotel so you get that unlimited express pass, which is awesome. And let me show you what we did today. So let me explain to you what we did on our vacation to try to stretch our dollars the farthest that we could. Is the first three days of our vacation, we were going to Disney. We were going to Disney. So we were staying on Disney property, we stayed in Disney hotels. Then today, what we did is we set our alarm at the hotel that we're staying there. We got up super freaking early, right? Got up so early. And then we took an Uber right over here to this hotel here to Portofino. And we checked into our room at six in the morning. Six in the morning. Now, uh, maybe it's about 6.15, 6.20, 6.30, right around that time. Now you might be thinking, why would you do that? Why so early in the morning? Well, there's a reason because when you check into the hotel, you get all checked in, guess what they give you? One, they give you your unlimited express pass. And two, you get to go enter into the park an hour early. So the park opened at nine. We got here at like 6.20. Uh, then we, they took our luggage and then we went and got the water taxi that took us to the parks. And we were there by 7.30. We got into the park at 7.45 and then we're able to do these amazing things which was awesome so we got here they had our they held our luggage we had our keys whatever to our, our express passes unlimited expresses passes we got to the park we went all day today right we went hard we did tons of rides we're spending the night here at this hotel then tomorrow morning we're checking out we're getting ready to go home tomorrow but guess what our unlimited express passes are good all day tomorrow and we get into the park early tomorrow. So what we did is we did a hotel hop. We stayed first at a Disney hotel and then we hopped over to this hotel because we wanted the perks of the Universal Studios of staying at getting these unlimited express passes. These unlimited express passes are super expensive. Think about 250 to $300. You go up to, I think five people in your room, I think or something like that. That's, what is that, like $300, that's $1,500 worth a day for these passes, and they just give them to you for staying in a hotel. Best, best deal you can find. So, when you're coming to Universal Studios, Florida, what you're gonna do is you're gonna call 1-855-GETAWAY, 1-855-GETAWAY, that number right there, and we call, tell them Pearl's Park Pass sent you, and say, hey, I wanna stay at one of those hotels that's gonna get me the unlimited express pass, say, but then I'm gonna, and then I wanna hop over to a less expensive hotel, or I wanna hop over to a Disney hotel, and they will set up everything for you, everything for you. This hotel hopping is absolutely stunning and amazing and they'll help you do it. It's something I really wasn't aware of and hardly ever did it once. We used to always go on a vacation, we'd stay at one hotel the entire week and then we'd leave and go home. But now we realize, hey, depending on what perks we want, we're gonna stay at different hotels and just hop hotels because we get amazing perks. All right, now, this room is absolutely awesome. Let me show you this amazing room. It is so cool. We, 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 we wanted to treat our son Miles because he's a huge fan of Minions. They have a Minions room here and it was a special treat for him. So we're staying at the Minions suite one night so he could have this amazing room. Let me show you this room. And then when we're done showing you this room, I'll show you more of this amazing hotel. Okay, so let me show you this amazing room here that we got. Now this is a suite room and we did this for on purpose because we wanted to surprise our little one, and you'll see why in just a moment. Now, as you first come in, you notice beautiful mirror here. Hi, and then right here you got this nice little area of credenza. You've got your coffee maker. Yeah, you guys, I guys, I know you guys are one. You've been telling me in the past, right? Make sure you show up. There's coffee makers, so I know it's important. The coffee maker. Then right here in the hallway is your closet. So let's take a look at closets. I know closet space is very important to everybody. You want to know the closet space? You got your was that the hair dryer right up there? You got your ironing board, very large closet, very large closet. And then coming back out here, you drink your first left. This takes you uh -huh, right into the bathroom. So a nice giant, this is huge, big area. You'll notice there's two sinks to get ready with. Beautiful sinks. You've got uh, mirrors, well lit, well lit area for you to preem and get ready for the day, which is very nice. Then right back over here is your, uh, Shower, of course. You've got a straight bar. It's a straight bar. Shower head, bam, right here. 
they supply you with your own soap here rather than having to do with the gel, which is awesome, which I love. I absolutely love that. Da, 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 da. And I love that. Look at all the things that they have here for you. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Okay. So let's turn around and go out and see the bedroom. So let me show you this amazing room. When you come in here, this ceiling, I think is a 12 foot ceiling. It's so tall. And look at this bed, like right there. This is there's a huge king bed. There's a king bed right there to give you guys the sizing of the room, right? Right over there, king size bed. Right over here, you've got like a little love seat, a little little area to like, you know, a little chase lounge. Then turning over here, you've got a nice little like writing table, breakfast nook. Just to show you how big this room is, I'm gonna get right here in the corner and kind of show you this. This room is ugh, massive, plenty of room. I mean, plenty of room, really nice, okay. Now the reason we stayed here, we splurged to stay here, is because we wanted for this. Miles hasn't even seen it yet, but you see this, there's a little door there. It says, authorized minions only. You come down here, they could twist, they could turn this, it opens it up, and then once it's ready to open, you get to come right here. Ah, is that amazing? Can you handle that? So look straight down, get a little, a little welcome mat. Look at these two beds. These are like, they're like the made out of the bombs that from like the movies you see, they even got a little like scoring there. So look at these beds. Do, 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 do. Can you handle this? Look at this bed. I can't even handle this. And then right over here, okay, you got a bunch of minions. They give you, look at this. They've given us a nice little basket saying thank you. To, it says, thank you for coming out here. Uh, it's our pleasure. We hope you have fun. Enjoy your company of our minions which is great. Look at this little table, have a little table for little ones. It's the G, it's the Gru right there. Along the walls, look along the walls. You see the minions, they got the tape that goes all the way around the ceiling. And this is just, I can't even have, they have their own little like chair, like their Gru chair for them to sit in. And their minions all over this, I mean this whole room is minion-fied so that they have their own little area. I mean, look at this. Is this about the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it. I absolutely love it. And if you look right here, this the curtain's closed. It's gonna make one giant minion when you close the curtain. I can't even handle this. How fun is that? Industrial <laughs> strength. You know, it's like the like the minions workshop right there. You got the little the little table right there. Look at this. It's great here. And the little desk. I love this. The, oh, that minion. He's climbing up a rope. I think that's Bob. And then of course they have their own little closet here as well. So the, for your little ones, they're little minions because they can have their own closet. So this is the Minion Suite. And we just wanted to get this um, because this is just something our son would absolutely love. And we decided to kind of treat him, have one night here and just to check it out. Can you believe how cool that is? They have their own Minion Room. Ah, love it. All right, guys, we're, kind of, we're at the end of this video. But I want to take a quick little moment. I'm sitting here um, in our bedroom. And I hear this nice little, this wonderful hotel room. My wife's actually sitting right next to me. Um, but she says, don't film me right now. I'm all ready for bed. <laughs> but I just wanted to take a quick little moment. And I want to talk to you. I want you to know that I think you are amazing. You are awesome. Did you know that? I hope you hear that enough in your daily life. And if you don't, then let me just tell you, you are amazing. You are awesome and you make the world a better place, and you are good at what you do. I hope you get enough praise in your life. I hope people appreciate you enough, and I want you to know how great you are. I know that sometimes this world gets us, sometimes we get depressed, and um, the world just doesn't understand that, right? If when somebody gets depressed, they're just kind of like, hey, pull up your bootstraps. You could do it. Just don't be sad, and you'll be fine. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. If you are suffering for any type of depression or you're suffering from some type of like, you know, some type of disorder that's affecting your life, I'm giving you permission. I want you to know it's okay to reach out and ask for help. And that is okay. I've had to do it and you can do it too. And it makes your life so much better because when you're in those dark places, sometimes you think it's never going to get light again and you just think it's going to be like this forever. But I promise you, it does get better. Don't give up. All right. So I want you to know you're amazing. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of our video. Hit the like and subscribe. That is the best universal 
uh, Universal uh, Orlando hack that I know, hotel hopping. Oh, it is amazing and it's wonderful and you'll get a lot because if you want to jam rides, then stay in one of those premier hotels. If you want to hit Volcano Bay, hit hit uh, Cabana Bay because you're going to you get all these amazing benefits and we just don't hear about it enough. So you guys are the absolute best. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hopping is amazing and something cool to do. You get lots of cool benefits. We all like benefits, especially unlimited express passes. You get to go on them as many times as you want, right there for the line. How amazing is that? And it's included with your hotel room.